Hello guys, welcome back and now we have science. Uh, last two weeks we talked about energy and the sun and last week we talked about energy and food. Today we're going to be talking about how to use energy wisely. And this brings us to the topic we say smart energy use. How do we make of our use of energy in a smart way? Okay? And we learned that you can get energy from the sun and from eating food and from other places. All right. Now, how do we make use of those energy in a wise way and not try to misuse energy? Think about that. How do you think you can use energy in a smart way? Now, for us to be able to know how to use energy in a smart way, we need our five senses. Who still remember the five sense organs we talked about uh, in the first trimester? We have the five sense organs which are the eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue, and the skin. And those five sense organs are what helps us to make smart use of energy. Alright, for example, when you're, you're brushing your teeth, uh, in the tap, okay, and when you're done with brushing your teeth and you leave the tap open and the water is just running, are you really making smart use of energy? Because we have a kind of energy that is um, being wasted when we're just leaving the tap running out. So, what helps you or what tells you that this is not right? You need to close the tap, it is one of your senses, for example, also the bulb. When it is daytime and then you just put on the bulb, uh, the switch up on the bulb and leave it like that. You're not making uh, proper use of energy because of course you can see, you don't need light. So you're wasting the light, which is also another form of energy. And it is your senses that helps you or that tells you that this isn't right. You need to switch off the light. So let's refer to the book and see in what other ways we can make smart use of energy. So turn to your workbook on page 314. So there we go, page 314. And you find that in the green pages. Okay, so the big black words here says smart energy use let's read again smart energy use right and the first dot says we use energy to make our lives easier all right let's read again we use energy to make our lives easier and the second dot says the energy we use comes from many different places just like we saw in previous lesson you can get uh, you have wind energy you have heat energy you have light energy you get energy from the sun you get energy from eating food to keep you uh, active so this place say that the energy we use comes from many different places and the third point says our senses help us use energy wisely just like i explained to you it's your senses that help tell you no this is wrong no you have to lower the heat no you have to put off the fire it's just your senses that helps you to make uh, use of energy in a wise way all right it says so look at the boy for example you have a boy sitting down here have a uh, resting because it says I like sports, but I want to save my energy. So it's also your, your senses that tells you, oh no, you're playing a lot. You need to rest. Because if you keep on playing and playing and playing and making use of all your energy, you might faint. But with the help of your senses, it tells you, you need to rest because your body is weak. So at that point, you have to take a rest. It's your senses that lets you know when to take a rest and when you, you're full of energy and when you can play soccer, when you can play uh, around, when you can run around, and when you need to sleep. All those are because of your five senses. 
All right, now we have an activity that says, write the names of the energy givers in the pictures with the given words. Let's go again. Write the names of the energy givers in the pictures with the given word. So energy givers are those things that give us or provide us with energy. So here we have some energy givers listed. The first one is the sun. Sun. Electricity. Electricity. Wood. Wood. Gasoline. Gasoline. And wind. Wind. Let's read again the words. Sun. Electricity. Wood. Gasoline. And wind. Now let's look at those pictures. You have picture number one, two, three, four, and five. In picture number one is a fireplace. Number two is a car. Number three, you have a fan. Number four, you have boats. And number five, you have your clothes spread outside. So what energy giver do we need here to make the fire? You say we need the wood because when you put the wood in together, it makes the fire. So the energy giver for number one is wood. So you write wood in the space here. Now look at the other pictures in the numbers and figure out the energy giver here and fill in the spaces beneath. When you're done, take a picture of your work and send to me. If you still don't understand, please do not hesitate to let me know so that I can explain better to you. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow. Bye.